Hello, welcome to Olivia Toys. Today we are going to make the easiest Lego DIY planters. We're going to plant these bean seeds. Now, bean seeds sprout really quickly and they're really interesting to watch grow. So we're going to build them a little plant pot out of Lego. So I actually thought we might make this one in the theme of kind of like a tree. So they're gonna be growing out of a tree, but because their root system is really interesting to watch, we're going to make the walls of it transparent so that we can actually see the roots on the inside. So we need our tree trunk first. Our walls are gonna be transparent, but out the side, we're going to have the tree and we're going to have a few little branches and we can just use any brown pieces we have here or anything you want. You can use whatever you want Want to make these planters as long as they're squarish or rectangularish or roundish and as long as there's the space on the inside to hold what you're trying to fit in there so that's our available space we don't need a lot of space so that's the container where the plants going to grow so let's link it together now with our pieces along the top just to tie in all this brown theme it <laughs> looks like the tree is currently in winter with no foliage. That's our tree. We might put another couple of branches up the top just to just to fill it out a bit. And down the bottom, we'll make it a bit pretty and cute. We'll put some stepping stones so that some of the Lego friends might want to come and view it. They might want to come and watch the plants growing. And we'll put some fake plants on the side. Some Lego plant. <laughs> Lego plants. And on this side, a little mushroom. Because it's cute. And... The little baby bunny cinnamon is going to sit here and supervise the growing of the bean seeds. <laughs> She's very patient. Now, we don't actually need soil to make these bean seeds sprout. We're going to grow them in cotton wool, but we need to wet this cotton wool. There needs to actually be some moisture to activate these seeds. Otherwise, they're just going to sit there and be happily seedy and not actually grow. So we're putting some damp cotton wool in here for a bed for the bean seeds. And they're not that wet, so the wetness isn't going to seep out the bottom of the Lego itself. So this little container should hold everything in without leaking anywhere. Beautiful! I think they might be ready. Now we just have to wait about four days before we're going to see <laughs> those sprouts. So in the meantime, we're going to build another planter for a ready-made little plant. And we're going to make this one square. And I'm just going to build up the walls with maybe a whole heap of rainbowy stripes. So a bottom layer there of red, and then I'm gonna use all these hay bales that I have extra of. Always seem to have lots of yellow hay, probably from all of those horse stable sets <laughs> that Lego Friends has. A lovely layer of yellow, bright sunshiny yellow, then a bit of orange. We're gonna chuck a couple of translucent ones in there as well, just to light it up a bit. Now, you could also make these planters out of Duplo. In fact, Duplo would probably be better because you'd need less blocks to make a bigger pot. And if you've got a bigger plant, you're obviously going to need a bigger pot. So Duplo would also be really cool for this. But I have a lot of colourful Lego here, so I am making the prettiest little plant pot there. I think that might be about right. So I'm going to put a kind of a, an overhang off the sides just to pretty it up. Lovely! And now this one's going to get some real soil in it. Can I borrow your spade there, Mia? And we're going to just shovel some of this dirt into the planter. This is going to take a ridiculously long time, so I'm actually just going to tip it in. And I've made a bit of a mess, but that's right. I can clean up messes. That's no problem. And now we're going to plant this pretty, pretty little viola seedling in there. Actually, it's a bit more than a seedling proper little plant. Look at their happy little faces. I love violas. They're just so cheerful. Now this little plant is going to need a decent amount of water and this Lego is not waterproof of course. There's cracks in between it so make sure you put this one outside or in a little bowl to catch any water that seeps out. But it's gonna bloom so prettily. They're so cute. Now those bean seeds aren't sprouting yet, surprisingly. So we'll just build up a little bit more of a fence down here. I just can't help myself. I just need to keep decorating. <laughs> oh, I think I hear a truck. That's beeping. Is it a truck? <laughs> oh, 
Thank you, Olivia. Olivia has just delivered a truck with a succulent planted in it. That's perfect. If you've got any Lego trucks that you don't want anymore, you can plant them in there. Now let's fast forward five days and see what has happened to these bean seeds. It's very exciting because they have grown so much in five days. They have got a fantastic root system happening down there in amongst our damp cotton wool. And where is the top of these bean stalks? Up you go, Olivia. Look out for the giant. Bring me back a golden egg. She's at the top of the bean stalk. I don't think she's quite as high as Jack went. Uh, they haven't quite reached the giant's realm yet. Here's Mia right at the top. Be careful. Oh, no, no, no. They're going to fall. Oh, oh, they shouldn't have climbed up that bean stalk without a harness. That's really unsafe. Look how tall it is. Oh, no, but they're all right. Now, if you make your own Lego planter, please put a picture up on my Facebook page. It makes me so happy to see the things that you create. And while you're waiting for your beans to sprout, make sure you subscribe and check out some of my other videos. And I'll be back with a new one really soon. You know that. Happy planting. <laughs> Bye.